Yes, today we're joined by Glenn's Vodka League One Manager of the Month for December, Paul Hunt! Yay! <laughs> what a man. Paul Manager. Thank you. How are you doing, alright? I'm all good. Good guys, thank you. What a season you're having, mate. It's gone well, yeah. Ten games to go, so... Five-point cushion, but... And we are, you know, breathing down our necks. But we're, we're doing all right. I'm, I, we're enjoying it, but still a long way to go. Talking of cushions, can you take that one out for your top, please? Oh, mate? Mate, we've done Is that a cushion, didn't it? <laughs> no, just this that you get, but we're also going to present you a top. What's this? What we got? Oh. <laughs> there's no way that's uh, your Sifey Dundee. Is that? It's actually stinking there's, of you. There's no sweat on it, is there? No, it's still that. dry. Yeah, you, you, can, you, you can stick right. it up in the west wing oh, of your thanks, house. Thanks, mate. Well, how is it, Dundee? Because I seen a video <laughs> yesterday, right? And I was telling you, I said, I seen a so video yesterday, and it how was, was it? absolutely how massive. No, it was a crossbar challenge. Crossbar do you remember challenge. Yeah, I remember it. How did that get in? Oh, didn't get in that well, but how was Simon? I think. We knew he was a good player. Uh, I had, had him at Celtic. Um, so we I, used were to, tight I, Celtic, I used to pick him up. I used to pick him up most mornings, um, and I knew he was a good young player. But obviously, a lot of injuries with his, with his ankle and that, and we, we took it to Dundee. Just it just didn't work out. But mm-hmm. I knew he was a good player. <sighs> Bad time. My fault, me. I was unfit when I was never near it. You were, you were, you were uh, unfit, and the way that we worked, it, we were we were a fit team. Yeah. Under uh, Tam Ritchie and myself. So was he full of nonsense in the dressing room? Uh, he was good for the dressing room. Ah, it's good to yeah, like that. you need that. I don't think you see enough of that now. I think that I think the game's changed that much that I think people tiptoe around people, and I don't think you see that as much now. And I, I do like that. I do like that in the dressing room in terms of players. You've got to have a good spirit, and and mm-hmm. they're, they're all different. But I do definitely think that the. I think the game's changed now. Remember I got the sports scientist with the message X? You went upstairs with the laptop. <laughs> so we had a message X that I could text and you could pretend to be the gaffer. So I text him saying, come back down right now with your laptop. So mate, we're all sitting there, he comes back down, he's like, do you want to see me, gaffer? <laughs> I got Gowser, what is it? Do you, you remember? Gowser, aye. Oh, what a boy he what is. What is the Gowser, man? Gowser came in your office, didn't you? You said, you be, so I text him saying, uh, Heard you've been in trouble again, you wee Ned, getting in my office get, straight away. He charged my door, I'm like, you want to see him? I'm like, I don't fucking want to see you. <laughs> I, 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 somebody, he, he texts me and says, you want to see me? He's like, Gowser, I, I don't need to see you, just get out of my office. We were all standing at the door like that and then burst in laughing, man. Yeah, so you played with each other at Celtic as well though, didn't you? Yeah. Were you just coming well, through? I sat and watched him, I was usually on the standard on the bench. Simon's a young player, coming through, what would you have been? 19? 17, 18 uh-huh. yeah. I've not heard a yeah. lot of Paul, I've not heard a lot about him though when he was a young boy coming through. What was he like when he came through in the first team? But this is an interview. Just, sorry, this is on him Sorry Paul, just a wee bit on no, him. No, listen, he was, um, he was a talented young player. Um, and you could see from a, a young age that they, they, they could play. He was a good midfielder, but I think he did a bad injury. I'm sure he was away with Scotland. Mm. No, it was Robbo, remember Barry Robson? Was it Robbo? Remember I told you that in the motor? Uh-huh. So it was. So it was, but you could see he had a lot of ability, and then I think the injuries obviously hampered his career. Mm-hmm. But he still managed to you do well at Swindon, Portsmouth. The Dundee thing didn't they quite yeah. work out. Um, listen, you're doing well now, so uh-huh. it's a different career path you're uh-huh. having to take. Wait, he was tight with Paddy. P- Paddy was your mate, wasn't he? Co- oh, Paddy was great. What oh, a player. Oh, listen, seeing training, Paddy was frightening, uh-huh. wasn't he? Uh-huh. His ability. You know, but you don't see many players like that now. No. In terms of that. Why, oh, why is that, do you think? I think the academies are quite robotic. Mm-hmm. Now, quite young rigid. players coming through, it's rigid, you've got to stand there, you've got to go there. I don't think there's a lot of freedom now. I think you've got to give young, young players a lot of freedom to go and play, to go and express yourself. Well, it's like him. People think, forget, mate, he would get 15, what, 15 a season? That's... Yeah, and you see a midfielder like that now, mate, box to box. Um, Some team, mate. I had, a, I had a good couple of seasons at Hearts and I loved it there. Um, and I was fortunate enough to, to score a few goals in two or three seasons on the trot and with Scatchel and different players there. Um, but you don't see that either, players. No. Like, midfield players are, are, they like to pass it back the way or they, they go sidewards or whatever. You don't see many players running beyond and scoring and getting 15, 20 goals a season. I think that's something that's a dying breed now. Mm, hat-trick. Was it semi-final? Semi-final mm. hat-trick, yeah. Can again. you remember that now? Against Hibs, mate. For Hearts? Three what, belters as well, What country were you on at that time? <laughs> Amsterdam. 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 <laughs> Amsterdam. <laughs> Amsterdam. <laughs> you were. It was a Sunday, you were in Amsterdam. Was, you, 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 know, you, got, you got you know a hat-trick. Saturday I got a hat-trick and all that. You got a hat-trick. A different type of hat-trick, yeah. 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 Uh, but what was it, a free, what, I remember, was it a free kick? A free kick. Uh, first goal was a counter-attack. Um, off the side of the foot, uh, the second one's a free kick, you had uh, Malkowski at the, the near post and the, and the third one was a penalty, so 
to beat your, your, your biggest rivals in a semi-final and you score a half right? So, listen, Hearts fans always remind me of that when, whenever I go back to Tyne Castle, you know, I'll go back there quite a bit. So, yeah, one of the, listen, a good memory. What a career. Well, I, the, it was the, the season when you just came back with Rangers was the best. Remember, it was you, Barry Robson. Yeah. He's way behind. He's came out as my favourite memory. Uh, Brilliant. Was, I actually talked about that the other day. I can't remember who I was talking to him. There were seven games to go. No, there was eight games to go and um, Celtic get beat with Motherwell at Parkhead. It was 1-0. I think Simon Lappin scored and the Boos were, were crying out for, for Gordon to, 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 oh. to go. And then... Oh, yeah. Aye. Oh, f- aye. Actually, we're talking, it was Mark McGee we were talking to the other day about because right. we met him in uh, the weekend and they were talking about that. And then, um, because they were going to, they were at Dundee, were playing Celtic on Sunday there. So we spoke about that game. There was eight games to go. And then um, Motherwell beat Celtic at Parkhead 1 0. I think that was the last time they won there. And then there were seven games to go and there was a, a double header between Rangers in between. And we just managed to win. But no brilliant football at times. It no. was just sheer hard work, determination. Yeah. And he put me and Robbo in the middle of the park and we, we struck it off in there. Mm. And we scored a last minute winner with Big Yan at the, uh, it was a header. You put the corner in, didn't you? I remember it. Um, no, you no, 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 no. Tanadice, t- 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 sorry. Aye, the last game, yeah. sorry. Aye, the, the last game, Big Yan. I mean, the atmosphere that night, if anybody was up at Tanadice, it was, it was absolutely incredible. And helicopters going above and, and Rangers get beat 2-0 at, at Pataudry. And we managed to win the game, and it's a night you'll honestly, it's a night you'll never forget. And it was just, Tommy dying that season. Aye, so it was. Aye. So it. He just, I think he died a couple of weeks before that, mm. and so everybody was emotional. Um, because Remember, Stratton brought everyone on the pitch at Lennox Town. Aye, all the staff, aye, all the players. Wow. The day after Tommy died, remember it. Aye. But even that night <coughs> after the game, he had a big cuddle with everybody and uh, all the staff, and um, I think it was just basically the, the game was for, for for Tommy Burns. I think everybody was that emotional because. The respect that they had for Tommy, um, he was such a great man. You, you mm. obviously know that Simon. He was he was a magnificent person. So to win the league in that manner in the, the last game of the season at Tanner it was a Thursday night, and it's incredible. It's, it's something you always look back on when you fond memories of being a football player because you could, you get through different periods of playing football, good, bad, or indifferent. Wow. What a plan, right? We'll get on the ma- manager. That was totally unscripted, but it's good to listen. That was, that was stuff, absolutely brilliant. But see, for the outside, Simon, looking in at League One, it looks like Cove have absolutely battled it and run away with it. But it's a real, real tough league, Paul, isn't it? This is the toughest it's been since I've been in League One, I think. Is it, mate? Do you know what I feel this year, Simon? I think there's a lot of experienced players in the league that have mm. played FPL uh, and in the Premier League. So we've got, for instance, we felt last year we lacked a little bit of experience in, in the group. Uh, we lost it in the semi final to. To Airdrie, um, down there, I felt it was lack of experience, so we managed to get the captain of Ross County Vigors, Shea Logan, in, uh, and then we get the captain of Dundee United, Matt Reynolds, and everybody, every other team's got experienced players in it. You say, you're up at um, Peter Head, there's other experienced players there, so it's a real tough league, but a good league, a lot mm. of good teams, a lot of good players, yeah, isn't there? There's a lot of good players in it, yeah, no, there is definitely. What I've wanted to ask you is, was it always for the start you got this job, I'm going to play it? Oh, yeah, why, why was it? The, the, the style that I wanted to play and I think um, I think you want the way you were brought up um, and the players that I have I think if, listen, if you've not got the players it's very hard to play in a certain style that, 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 that you can dominate games possession wise but you can dominate possession and, and dominate games with possession but there's got to be an end purpose to it you've, mm. got, to, you've got to look to score goals mm. you've got to play with speed you've got to try and it's not all pretty by the way all the time because sometimes you've got to go and, you've got to go a little bit longer direct yeah. how do you win a football match? People say it'll be seventy percent possession, but we drew it there. We didn't win, so that's not used to you. So you've got to the right players, and I feel that we've got the right players. How do we play certain systems? How do we train? So way we train, train to play, blah blah blah. blah. Mm. At the end of the day, it's down to the players. How do they? How do they go and perform? I think it was the Hibs game yeah. that I really took. No, I, what a good team they were. I was surprised. Were you surprised, Paul? That did you think you were going to go yeah. as far as you did? Eh? Yeah, but we're going to go toe to toe with them. I said that to the players. We weren't going to sit off. We. <clears throat> we, we we ended up playing, we changed two systems that night. I, I played 4 1 4 1, and it wasn't what. And then I went like 3 4 3, because we've got two systems here that we try and go and play. And um, the players have been drilled into the players, but I felt we could go toe to toe with Sean's team. And I know Sean and Gary because I, I knew Sean's team would like to play. So it, it suited us mm-hmm. in terms of their style and how they want to build it out. And that, you play, press them. that we could go and work and press. And uh, listen, what, what happened to us in the end is we fell short. 
our legs just went. Yeah. We just we just didn't have enough in the tank and didn't create and didn't sorry didn't take our chances. But I was proud of the players and it was a good advert for our league because it is a good Definitely. league. Definitely. And people people have not seen a, I don't know if you've seen a lot of League One this year. Seen a bit of size games. It's a good league, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a good, good players league. and good, good teams, isn't it? Is that the frustrating thing, Paul? Is that you only get two nights a week with the boys? Yeah, but listen, we've got to cram two nights into a week's work. Yeah. So we try and give them enough information, but don't overload them. Because um, you, you know what it's like. The, the, the lads are coming in for their work. Mm-hmm. You know, they're coming straight here. So our sessions have got to be, they've got to be bright, they've got to be sharp, they've, and they've got to enjoy it, but they've got to work hard. Yeah. But they've got to have a game plan in their head what they're playing on Saturday. So as soon as they come in on a Saturday, a Tuesday night, there's a game plan there straight away who we're playing. Because we've tried to you know, have a good structure at the club and how we, how we want to work. So, so, so when you they come in Tuesday, everything you do Tuesday, Thursday will be towards the opposition on a Saturday. We were playing, yeah. Listen, we've, we've did that for the last three years. So, <coughs> we've got a video analyst. I've got a scout that will give me the report right after the match on a Saturday. So, what do they say when you're playing Peter Head? Keep Ferry on it. Uh, leave Ferry on the ball because <laughs> you'll give it right back. <laughs> they play though, didn't they? No, listen, they're a good team. <laughs> they pop them. Well, see there. the games we've had. They've, they've been they've yeah. been tough, haven't they? Except for the one here, he's battered this year. But was that, did you not know come off after? A minute. It's a minute. He came off after a minute. No, no, no. Was he back? Was he back? Was he back? Was he back? I'm like, he's just came off here. He's just came on. You got even he went off. I was, uh, no, I was, I was delighted when he went off. Um, <laughs> but that the batter this year, he's were brilliant that day. Yeah, we we, we played all right, but, but the, the game, games have been I think close. the games up there are. Yeah, they're always tough um, against Peterhead, but Peterhead's some good players. Yeah. They're a good team. They like to they like to play it. Mm. See on on golf, Paul. See, are you the long term vision? Are you want to? Go all the way to the top leagues. When, when I took the job, uh, we, this is my third season. That the, the chairman had a, a plan to try and get to the championship within five years. We may be ahead of that. It depends what happens this season. If it happened this season or the following season or the following season after that, so his vision was: can I get to the the championship at some stage? If you get there, who knows what can happen after that? But I, I do. I definitely think if you get to the championship and, and stay there that you have to then have a full-time operation mm-hmm. in terms of players if you want to try and progress. Now, Inverness and Ross County have done it over the years where they've went for the Highland League all the way through the leagues. Yeah. Also, they've <clears> taken <throat> a, wee, a, a wee dip sometimes, but the plan eventually is, is can we uh, be a, a, a team that can compete in the Championship at some stage? You know, I'm not saying it's this year. It'd be great if it was this year. It must be difficult though, even so you're talking about going full time though, because when players have got their full time work and yeah, good money, it's really hard to match that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's something that we we would like to do further down the line, and we've got some players that are that, that are 29, 30, 31 that have all got good jobs. So for them to go full time, I don't. I think it would be pointless. Is so Rory still a st- stripper here, isn't it? <laughs> She's still doing that. <laughs> He couldn't have been a stripper a year ago with his body, but he probably could be now. He's been absolutely, Good night, he's been been absolutely brilliant for us. He's been, uh, he's looked after himself, he's scored a lot of goals, he's been a good team player. So eventually the plan is to, can we get full time, as in a hybrid model, um, where we have a group of younger players mm. during the day and then the part-time lads at night. Airdrie like, do, do it, yeah. Wraith Rovers used to do it. I think, but you see... And I know that's the vision to get to the top, but recently with some managers leaving in the SPL, your name's cropped up a lot. So I don't know if they're <laughs> going to try to take you before you can go that distance with them. But why would you when you've got a project? I know you love it here, you love the chairman and Listen, stuff. you've got to go to, the, if you're going to move, you've got to go to the right club yeah. with the right structure, uh, the right people, the right squad. So for me, I'm, I'm really happy here. I like working with the people, the players, good staff I've got, which half the battle. And the chairman. Listen, you've got to have a good working relationship to the, with the chairman. So I think that's, if, if you want to go down that line further down, that you want to be a manager, it's who do you work with. Mm. That's really important. Who who works for up above? You've got to be on the same hymn sheet um, and you've got to think the same. So it's really important who you work with. Don't just go in and take a job for the sake of it because it can be a mistake further yeah. down the line. I was going to ask you this as well on camera because I, I have always said this on the podcast I do remember how hard you worked as a manager at Dundee you were always at other games see now you're a part-time manager do you act as a full-time one? Yeah yeah listen it's just it's just, it's just the, the work ethic I've always had since I played and when you get into management you, see if you don't work when you get into this job you, you have no chance you'll fail yeah. mm-hmm. so still I love going to games most of my 
stuff during the week is the laptop watching the opposition playing watching. championship manager you said <laughs> <laughs> doing well in that no 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 watching players going to games so st- even them two and a half hours for a lot of places three hours that's that's the life that we have and that's where I still enjoy it I still work, love going to games and, mm. and meeting people that's, that's part of the job and 11 years in and we were just speaking that about it off camera yeah, like, listen, flown in that 400 games nearly so a lot of games under my belt a lot of experience um, and they say this game now being a manager is for a younger manager yeah to a certain extent but I still think there's there's room for the experienced guys that, 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 are, that are out there just now who are probably finding it much harder now to get a job yeah, but see, see, since uh, when you started to know, has there been a lot of changes? Do you, do you feel? Uh, what are the, what are the standout differences in the leagues? I think the players are a lot fitter now. Do you yeah, that part yeah. Time I think tacti- look after themselves. Yeah, better, tactically, um, teams are better. I think they're more aware. Mm-hmm. I think more teams play better football. Yeah, I think pitches help like that. Um, Astro um, turf. Doesn't help my back a bit, but no, it doesn't help you. But <laughs> I think. I think um, I think the right players are um, at part time level are definitely fit, and that's what's one thing when I did when I went into was first thing I did is hired my the fitness coach that I had at Hearts. Oh, hate him! Put me through some horrible days. Oh. Simon knows him really well. He he didn't like him, <laughs> but I think um, it, it's definitely helped me as a player, and I felt the benefit of having him when I took a job is it would help players get better, fitter, stronger. Yeah. Um, what you eat, your diet. All that sort of stuff. Can you do that? That was my man. I should yeah. not do. But we have to do it. See, when that Paul should be part time because it isn't full time. Is it harder to sort of say? So, you like Rogers had sort of uh, the body fat needs to be at a certain level. Can you still do that at part time yeah, level? I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. So stuff and some stuff that we do and what you eat, um, what, what you drink. Um, if you want to try and improve and yeah. get better, um, then I think you have to buy into all this stuff and. You probably maybe didn't like that when you were a player, but see, if you want to get to be a manager, you, you have to do this stuff. Of course, no. See, if you want to try and get to the top level, um, you have to try. Yeah, this is the stuff that you have to do. Does he still do the squirm? No, he's not done the squirm oh, for a while. Are the Loch Ness monster? Loch Ness he's monster. not done that for a while. It's just a run. But Tams, you wouldn't like it, but I tell you what, you'd feel the benefit. Perfect, of it. Uh-huh. Um, Listen, if you want to come up, you can, uh, you can, can, we, up. can we film that? If you want to come up one Because night. I were, were going to be bits. But you always wants to run in thongs, would that still be on it? That's not going to be it. What we'll do, we'll get you up one night if you want to do the squirm or the Loch Ness to see how fit you really are or you want to be. It was Levine that changed your whole view on fitness, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, when I went to Hearts. And what, were you not fit enough? It's not that I wasn't fit. Um, I think you can always get fitter, fitter and you can always get better. Um, but I didn't realise the extent of the, the training that they did there. It wasn't until I went that it was like, no, I'm no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a level where these guys are. And I, I gradually I, I got there, but it was any extra work that I always did with the fitness coach after training. But that took I your game to the next level when you were, had that extra level of fitness, 100%, didn't it? Yeah. yeah, no doubt about it. That uh-huh. the, the work that I did on the training pitch definitely helped me. What about the differences in you as a manager? We've talked about the leagues. What about the differences in you, eleven years? Um, Camera. Yeah. Very intense at the start, as you are as a young manager, mm. try to win games, try to do well. Your first job's always important. Uh, I managed to do well my first job, but I see much much calmer, uh, more reserved. Um, don't really say too much to the players after the game. I keep it like 30 seconds. 30 seconds to a minute after the game, that's what I do now. And, and then, Do you still get sleepless nights when you lose? Oh aye, oh listen, oh, it's worse when you're a, a manager for me, mm. I think, than a player, yeah. when you lose. I, it, it still hurts when, you, when you're when you a player, but I think you're a manager, because you've got you've the responsibility of the whole, the whole club, the, the team, the manager, the, 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 the staff, the, the chairman and the supporters, so it doesn't even matter what level you're at, so um, I still have sleepless nights. Um, the last three years have been quite good, but because we've won a lot mm. of games, so Saturday nights are usually quite good with a glass of wine. Mm. He gets a lot of sleepless nights, but it's because you're too busy doing some of that. <laughs> <laughs> certainly not. Certainly not that. That's for sure. <laughs> Paul, in 2018, you took a wee year out of management. Was that a year of you were I looking was, at other clubs and looking no, at other things? I was, no, I was, I, for, I, I was forced at yeah, taking a year out because I lost my job at Falk. It, it didn't go well there, and people keep reminding me that how how bad it went, and I get reminded that on Saturday with the, the supporters, but. Sometimes you, you've got to fail sometimes and then you have got to come back hopefully stronger 
what can I do better? What, what, what should I have done? I could have done that better. So, what did you think you could? What did you think went wrong at Falkirk when you look back? Um, pro- probably uh, recruitment, which is a, that's the biggest thing. It's been uh, their problem for a while as well, isn't it? Yeah. The last three, four years, it's no went well for them. So recruitment was. Could we have had a little bit more time? We only got three games into the season. I took over in October, October the year before, and we had to just change a few things. And listen, it doesn't work out. That's what happens in football. You have a good spell, and other times you don't have a good spell. I had a good spell at Dundee, and then it went a little bit wrong towards the end. But listen, you've got to you've got to move on for that. People forget you finished in the top six at Dundee, which is has that been done before? No, they've not. They've not done it since. since so. That- um, I, I did Short enjoy memories it. Short memories uh-huh. you, You're a flavour of the month. Yeah. Sometimes you're doing well and everybody loves you and then next minute you're, you're hopeless because you don't have a, you have a bad period. So. I always think it's difficult with Falkirk that we played them last night because you're asking players at this level to come and play for a club so big where the expectation's so high yeah. and it's hard to get guys the money that you can pay to go and that, that, that can handle that level of expect, expectation. There's, there's right? big expectation yeah. levels at Falkirk that, that, because of the fan base and um, where they were way back, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago in the Premier League. And then, so you've seen Lee Griffiths throw them, didn't he? Yeah. Play at Falkirk, um, who was playing at Celtic, well, I don't know, 18 months ago, a year. I was playing the Premier League this year with, with Dundee. Mm-hmm. So, get players like that drop them, don't they, that, to, to League One level because they know it's a competitive league and oh, yeah. there's good players. Uh, right, past managers. I can't wait for this. So you're, you're past managers. Who, which ones would you say you've took the most faith now that you're in the management game? Um, well, I've worked under a lot because I've had a lot of clubs, so... A few quid, quid today, maybe if he's got a few quid. Got, I, um, a few quid. So I would say... I always look at the first manager that I worked under, um, and it's not till you think years later. I worked under Ian Monroe Hamilton, who was um, well ahead of his time, in terms mm-hmm. of his coaching. Yeah. As in a coach, and the, the training was was outstanding. It wasn't until you realise and you, you look back, people are just doing that now. Yeah. So what you're saying, like similar to what you're doing now, whereas you would work towards a game on a Saturday? Yeah, just the, the way that he, that he coached it, yeah. a way back. Yeah, this, I'm talking what, 25 years ago. Oh, he was handsome then, see him when he was a boy. God, oh, still is. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but I think um, Strachan, uh, Gordon okay. Strachan, uh, outstanding coach, fierce. Um, Paul Caddis, he said the same. He, he was fierce, fierce, <laughs> terrorised him. Fierce, um, outstanding coach, um, but he had a good, he had a good personality. He was funny. Gordon was funny. Craig Levine, I worked with um, a heart, so he was hard, hard as nails, but tough, but very knowledgeable in the game. Walter Smith at, at Scotland, who gave him my first cap against Italy in the San Siro. So um, he was, he was brilliant, um, but just. Uh, I respected all the, all the managers I've worked under and sometimes it's easy to come on and say oh, he was this and he was that I know how hard the game is Yeah. and it's not till you're, you're involved in the game to say listen that's a tough gig that, mm-hmm. that manager's got who do you keep happy on a Saturday Si? how many players? Well, what have you got 18 players? 11 no, 20 who do we keep happy? 11 mm. really? 6 or 7 are they're going to be unhappy uh-huh. so it's not till you were in you, you realise that what the game's about and how how difficult it is to to do the job and to keep people happy. It's, it's, it's impossible. I can never uh, I can never remember you on the receiving end of that string. No, no, I, I was all right. I was I got away. I, How's it? I don't know. He liked you, didn't he? I he did liked, like you. I, I, there was good. There was mutual respect for each other. Yeah. Um, and I was never on the end. No, of I can't remember, remember you really getting it. Robbo would get it Robo, like used to it, but aye, because Robbo would get it back because uh-huh. he was he was chirpy and yeah. you know what Robbo was like. I mean, he he signed for sale like in the, the 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 last day of the window and two days later he was in for a pay rise. <laughs> he won the pay rise because he found the other boys. Yeah, that's, 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 seriously, that's, that's, he's obsessed with money back on his money. He's like. <laughs> I'm going to see them. I've just found out what you're on and what he's on and what he's on. I said, like, ah, good luck with that one. Yeah. Who would get it most Aidan and then what, Sammy maybe? We Scotty McDonald. Scotty McDonald, uh-huh. Because Scotty was chirpy. Uh-huh. Scott- Stratton don't like that. I think he minded it, but I think he... He liked putting them in their place, didn't he? Aye, but he, w- he wouldn't really fall out with them. No. Would it? It'd be funny. It'd be a funny oh, way, it was a funny it? way. It was, it was uh-huh. a funny way. That, the way that, the, that Gordon would see it. But listen, he's coaching. Unbelievable on the What's training that? picture. Ah, he's just his knowledge of the game and his enthusiasm. I, as well. I, I loved working under him. I, I 
can't say anything else. It was, it was brilliant to me. Sign me at 30 years of age where you think it's going to pass you by. So it was a dream come true um, to go and, and, and play at Celtic. But just working with the manager was was different class. It's like what you've just said there, too. You think you've got Barry Robson, Paul Hartley playing on the side and you've got to keep Tommy Gravis and Massimo Donati happy. Guys who played Bruni. Real Madrid, Bruni, Bruni. AC Milan. Oh, Bruni, Bruni, was wasn't he, Bruni was sort of in and out in because and out, yeah. of different, uh, different reasons. And then you've got Naka, who was outstanding. Do you think he was the best player? Oh, was he, aye? Aye. Oh, Nakamura was... came in navy pockets, Nakamura was the best I've, I've played with, without a shadow. He was... He just glided, didn't he? But his preparation... Like, like after the game, he'd be up in the gym Germany. for an hour and a half, two hours, and, and then three kicks, remember? He was out with the wee... The wee um, he's interpreting, he's sticking in the goals. Stick the goal. The <laughs> boys were whizzing past him. But his preparation, but his... Oh, his touch. His touch was... Was amazing training. Aye. Listen, but he would be good through in the miles. Ah, he was a he was a grafter, 13, wasn't he? Thirteen k every game. Remember he ran thirteen k a game. Remember, he used to get the, the stuff stats. after the game. All the stats on a Monday would come, and Naka was thirteen k every game. For a wide player, that's ridiculous. Know, what is it? What is the sort of average you're looking for? I think it was about eleven. Was it eleven? Uh huh. Thirteen. Stanton loved him, though, didn't he? Aye. Aye. Aye, he was his favourite one. Aye, he he did, Remember like Nakamura that. gave the ball away one day? It was windy or raining, and, and the ball came over. <laughs> Nakamura took a bad touch. <laughs> Only twenty minutes of session, he went no. No, session's done. If he can't control it, then there's no point. And he just took everyone in after taking it. Remember? Oh, he's got. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's got. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's that. Like, we we'll only be training 20 minutes. Have we oh. got a day? Would you ever, um, would you ever go for Nakamura? No. No, I don't think so. He'd never had a bad game. No. Hardly. But it's like what you said, even Stratton's saying everyone was fitness as well. Oh. Even, everyone, even Mondays, oh. Fridays. Mondays. Like, group teams will come in now, right? Um, well, not the team I would have anyway that would do it and they do a recovery session on a Monday uh -huh. we wouldn't do a recovery no. it doesn't matter if you played on the Sunday you were in the Monday and you would it, it'd be a graft uh -huh. the warm up on a Monday was a 17 <laughs> second 5, 15 oh, seconds 5, 30 minutes pre-seasons pre-seasons were the runway do you remember the runway oh the runway was it was horrendous it was, horrendous. It was oh the manager would be taking it he'd be joining in yeah he was that fit he was a fitness That's the worst bit when a manager took him. Big Snowy, Big Snowy was. <laughs> big Snowy and Paddy. Paddy. <laughs> I remember Paddy the long hair. <laughs> Paddy's first day in the warm up. Four, two minutes, Big Arthur's lapping him. <laughs> the Arthur's lapping him. And, and Big Arthur. <laughs> Do you know what's weird though? And I think I've asked this before with other players. See that Celtic team, they competed for the best teams in the world. It's that hasn't right? really changed now. In it for the last four, even under Rogers, that wasn't the case. Plenty, how, even to get in the last 16, when are you going to see that? Why do you think change so much? You're going to see that again. Why do you think that doesn't happen now, then, like Sandy said? I think, um, I don't know. It's, it's not like these are all big money signings, no, is it? Oh, we were just, we were, we were good, good players. We weren't, we were, we weren't world class players, mm. but we were good players with a good way of working. I don't know, as, as all the other countries get better and stronger uh, technically. Is more money playing as Kaki? I know, but, more, but, but more money is there? Is there I don't know. Uh -huh. but even the is there not enough good players then coming to Scotland? Scotland. Is that is that one of the reasons? I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I know it's hard to put your finger. You're on right. It. When, when when Brendan was here, who his team were good team, good uh -huh. team to watch. Couldn't get anywhere near the last sixteen. Couldn't couldn't get we managed to do it twice. Um, you go and play against Kaka and all these teams. What was your favourite European game? Remember one? Oh, AC Milan at home. When, uh, Is that the guy running? Aye, aye, aye he, 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 he gave a wee touch. <laughs> that was his brother, that had to be his brother. He <laughs> went down like that. He, he, he collapsed in a heap. That team was a joke, wasn't it? When, because um, Seedorf was playing, uh, Pierlo. Pierlo, get too so. Kaka. Oof, what a team that was. And then, uh, McDonald scores in the, the last kick of the ball. A tap in, it was, ah, it was a tap in. Ga oh. Gaz hit it and oh, it came back. Uh -huh. uh, Aye, what a, what he would a, never have mentioned that again with Scotty, would he? Oh, no, Cons. no, he, did, he didn't like talking about his goals. <laughs> <laughs> Who was to see that? It was, is he playing against him? Was it like? Oh, Pierlo's the best of playing against he? Die. Even when it, the international games. And I was fortunate enough to get a couple of his strips. So, couldn't he get near him? Mm. I mean, he wasn't he quick. Quick, no. But he'd always find room and how's he getting on the ball so much? Yeah. And I'm like, he just couldn't get near him. He was amazing. Best, best I played against. Maybe school, Hida, sorry, do you remember his whole Hida? Aye. You know, was it Moscow? Spartak. Spartak. Aye. The Astro Tough Hard. It was a big goal. It was a big goal. Uh -huh. It was a green strip, wasn't it? Green strip. Aye, green strip, right? aye. Or in, in Spartak, Scotty crosses in him at the back post. Because Aidan never played that night. He, he, he dropped Aidan. Oh, did he? For me to play wide on the left. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm waving away. <laughs> in grief. I'm, uh, Gordon, I'm 32 and I'm, I'm, I'm asked, you're asking me to get him down the pitch here and, and to be tricky. But actually, it worked well. And Aidan never, but Aidan played in the return. I didn't play in the return leg. Right. Obviously, it was one each and we managed to get through in the uh, penalties. Remember, you can remember Tam Burns. Oh, Tam Pond, didn't he? That's right. Everybody. Aye, because we qualified and it was a big hefty bonus, bonus to get through. <laughs> and everybody was jumping each other. But the nights, you, oh, it's hard to explain the nights until you play in it or even if you're a supporter, it's still, it's, you need to be in it. I need to be there to be in the European nights. You go and beat um, Milan and you beat... Remember Manu? Rooney and Nakamura, were it? If we I, I never, that was, that was a year before. Four, right. But then we played them, we played and we drew one each of them and it's the biggest doing I've ever had as a player. Was that the one at Old Trafford when Giggs dies for the penalty? No. The year after. And Rooney and all that were playing. Rooney scored the penalty. But I can't remember. It was one each, but it was the biggest doing I've ever, ever had in a football game. What they gave you is the biggest the doing? The biggest doing. We couldn't, get, we couldn't get out for half. We actually could not get out. They had Ronaldo, uh, Scholes, Giggs, mm -hmm. Nanny. They'd like, I mean, they were just whizzing past you. And we were like, how we get out with a draw? I don't you know. You got a bit of nanny that night, is it? See, when you think about it. comes back to that, doesn't it? I'm actually quiet on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. See, when you think back to the experiences, though, does that not give you the urge to get to that level in management? Listen, that's, you would love to get to that. But you've got to be lucky. Uh -huh. You've got to be lucky, you know? Who you know and your face fits and. I can always say I did it as a player, but as a manager, would I love it? Of course you would, but listen, might never happen. But it's just, you need a bit of luck in the game. Mate, there must be some unbelievable memories, aren't it, to take part in some of the games? Like you say, that's oh, not happened for years either. No, you don't, you don't see it now. He's, no. well, Celtic are now playing in the, the conference the, the conference, and trying to get through against the Norwegian team. So I, I was so lucky to be involved in the games. and. Strachan trusted me, Gordon Strachan trusted me to play in the game, so there you look back and you're like, oh I did that, I was 15, 17 years ago, whatever, it flies in. I loved what Strachan, I remember what he used to say to you before European games, he'd say, people out there kid on, they want to do what you're doing, but yeah. they, 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 they couldn't do it. I'm the perfect <laughs> one, I'd be the same, like yeah, saying, oh, I would love to do that, wouldn't I? Fortune favours the brave, he does that, oh, isn't he? Listen, but he's, I could just stay, uh, he was outstanding, he was just an outstanding coach. Mm. See, sorry, so just, but see all, all the imagine like Walter Smith and Strachan, that, I don't want to like, say one's the best, but was there any other, can you remember any like, a special team talk they done? I always think this, the, the team talk at um, the night when we played United at the, the last game of the season, just the way it was for Tommy Burns. Mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it was like, it was so emotional. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got to do this for Tommy and everything that's happened and you, you had a big lump in your throat. Yeah. And you knew you couldn't lose again. Mm -hmm. You could not Because we're on the same points. And the yeah. goal difference was roughly about the same. And Rangers had to go to Pataudry and we had to go to Tanadice. It was a hard thing. They'd missed a couple of chances. Big Mark De Vries missed a couple. And then we managed to, Big Jan gets on the end of the corner. And, um, but even then he had a huddle and what he spoke about. and it, uh, It's just stuff that you never get back. Uh, on the opposite end, we had uh, Jimmy Rickle on the show. Have you seen his? Jimmy's on here. No. I know, and I worked with Jimmy. Uh, well, he told us oh. about the Millwall, Millwall casuals waiting for him. Oh. After a, Remember I told you on the, when I did the... The interview, did you? A way back. What was that? I, I told you about Jimmy, remember, that they were waiting, he to get took out the boot of the motor, didn't he? <laughs> That's <laughs> right, you had to sit in his, you had to sit in his office till about 12 o'clock at Aye. night. They, they actually, um, <laughs> they, they invaded the pitch. I remember the game, I, I was playing, I think it was Bristol City or Preston, and it wasn't going too well for us down there. Because he signed myself, Stevie Crawford, uh, Jason Dare, and big boy Davy Sinkler. You, you might not remember. Uh -huh. maybe. I remember that. Uh, he was at uh, Wraith Wars. Yeah. And we were like the big signings at the time because they'd just been relegated for the championship to the uh, to League One. And we were the big signings. And it, it wasn't working out too well. And then we were only winning games and the fans were. If you've been to Millwood, you're a big I've Millwood. played there, huh? Scary. I mean, grown men, are they? Is it terrifying? Listen, it's, it's scary. <laughs> As a home player, it's scary. As a away player, it'll be even scarier, I would think. <laughs> but we weren't going well, and they started running on the pitch and trying to attack Jimmy, and he to get took up the tunnel. And then I think he had to get took out in the boot of the motor that night, or in the, the car, <laughs> because they actually invaded the, the players' lounge. We were in the players' lounge. No way. After the game, we were. And all the, all the casuals 
or the, the heavy mob they invaded the uh, the players lounge looking for the manager were you, were you shaking yourself? oh aye oh, <laughs> the aye. table uh, it was not a day with me <laughs> <laughs> you know see when you get off the bus the, the day that team it grown round like that it's um, oh it's, it's it's a tough environment to play there he's a good lad Jimmy so, isn't he? loved Jimmy uh-huh. he was he was, was he, a, he was a manager. Uh, I took him as assistant manager and then he went to Rangers but he's Signed me for Millwall and then he signed me for Wraith, but Jimmy was very good, very mm. knowledgeable. I actually met him a couple of weeks ago. He's still doing the, the Northern Ireland stuff, so a lot of time for Jimmy. Yeah, what a guy. See, uh, see, when you were a player, Paul, was that early on you thought, I want to give the management a crack, or was it no. after you stopped? I remember playing? you telling me you, didn't, you weren't no. interested in it. Uh, I mean, honestly, I, I, I didn't get to... Actually, I was roughly retired. I retired at Aberdeen at, at 34. We, 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 I, mean, I, I probably could still have played, but I just... I don't know if I just can you do what I used to do in terms of running and this and that and other. When the injury for was Aye. what you and Craig Brown were up to thought, wasn't it? That's how you got an injury. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some man old Craig, a good guy. Um and I just felt um listen, I'm going to retire and then I actually got I got lucky and I got a phone call for Mike Mulraney at Alloa and um offered me the, the, the job as a manager and I took it and then they were at the bottom, they'd just been relegated to the, the bottom tier, but it'd be the third division then. So Oh, was that when you went in the bottom of the third division? Yeah, we had no players. And you got them up to the championship? Yeah. Wow. We had no we had no player, we'd not one player signed. I had one player, the young kid, Ross Philp, who's at Kelty, who was did his oh, right, cru- he did his cruciate. So he wasn't he couldn't play. So we had to start from scratch. So we, we bought we managed to get twenty players in that that season and managed to get promoted in the following season we get promoted through the playoffs and got the championship. But but have any intentions of managing at a young age? No, but you see it. I think young players now in their early twenties, what they, they want to be coaches. Yeah. We're always trying to say, play as long as you can. Mm-hmm. It'll, it'll come along. Just play as long as you can and enjoy it. Don't think you're a coach when you're not a coach, because you, you're not till you get into the hot seat or whatever, or you come go and work with somebody. See when you look, see when you look back at you playing though, were you quite were you like a coach on the pitch though? Do you think tactically, or was it more just about your end job? No, I, I felt I knew the game. Yeah. Um, because I was thrown into the first team at an early age at Hamill, just turned seventeen. So, um, was I quite vocal? I would say I was at times. Um, I was always always like to encourage the players or the younger players or whatever. I think I thought I knew the game tactically. Um, yeah. But it wasn't probably about tactics and when you played mm. in the days. I think. Most of the systems were the same. It was yeah. four four two. Two plenty of yeah. If you're away in Europe, when you're fortunate enough to play in Europe, it was four five one. We played in Scotland away from four five one. Playing with Scotland at home four five one. So, wasn't it? A lot of the a lot of the time wasn't it tactical with with managers when you played. Mm. Mm. That's a good point, actually. Huh? But a, a player that it's, you played with, Sean Maloney, did you see him as a a manager? A deep thinker, Sean Maloney. I don't know if I seen him as a manager. Um, I seen the work that he put in mm. to playing. Okay. Um, it. I didn't always. I thought you can always see somebody's been a manager. Something. Or he'll never be a manager. Or he'll be a man, and they don't turn up. I mean, he will turn out. Um, Sean Math always, always felt he was a, a really deep thinker of the mm. game. Um, quiet, reserved, but he worked so hard yeah. and uh, on his game. He was a good player, yeah. technically a good player. And you can see that getting into Hibs and how they're trying to play now and what with Martinez at, at Belgium. Um, he's, he's probably. A big thinker on the tactical side of the game. Yeah. Uh, see, just on former teammates, so we're going to ask you how would you deal with Tommy Gravison as a manager now? <laughs> you couldn't, could you? I don't think I could deal with him. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, I, no, no, I, I don't. I, 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 I need to walk I, him in a room. What would you? What would you do? How, how do you? Scale up his ass. Listen, you just, ass, you, listen, you, you, just that, so listen you just need to play him and say this is better. this is what you're good at. Go go and do it. That that's what I think. Mm-hmm. Or else. You need to get him out the door. How would they know? Would they just know? Listen, if you're trying to tell me today, or no, I, I don't know. I just think I don't know. He was just a different character. Yeah, right, he yeah. was, but I didn't. I liked him. Uh, I, thought good he was, I thought he was a good, a good lad. I, I really liked him. I thought, and I tell you, what, in training, some things he used to do, you're like, how how did you do that there? You don't go to Real Madrid and Everton if you can't play. So uh, what sort of things? Are like I know we've spoken about Real so much, but it was I don't any, know. Just he's a manager trying to deal with him. So Stratton saying. The ball goes here, stay there. Two seconds that the ball goes in, he goes actually, and runs towards the ball. I actually, mean, I actually we watched uh, it was when we played Kelly in the last game of the season, remember Nakamura scored? Yeah. And actually seen a rerun of the game. And um something happened with Gravison, I think. 
and somebody went past him, and then I just seen him. I thought it was a foul or something, and I just seen him walking past, and the game's, ra- the game's raging on, and they're breaking on the counter attack, and I seen Gravison walking, talking to the referee. <laughs> I swear to God, I actually saw that. I watched that in the video. I'm like, did that actually happen there? It was actually the game with Kilmarnock were breaking forward, and he was walking, talking to the referee like that. But I so that's the type that would you would drive you mad. Oh, you couldn't have uh, your team down. Do you like to know? But you see the high team, though. Even at the high degree, like, 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 he did this, did that on the stage. He just comes on. He just he, he just goes for it himself, doesn't he? Oh, would he ever listen though? No. No, I can't remember who did listen. You listened to me to William McStainer, is it? He called Willie Gaffer. He called Gordon. <laughs> Stratton Gordon. But I, I, don't think you could, I don't think you could have that type of player no. about the place, no. It just, it see, just, on, see, on that, we've talked about, uh, obviously, managers that you've took a lot of faith. What about your time at Hearts when that like, kind of managerial oh. carousel? Was there, was there ones that you learned what not to do for? Um, listen, most of the ones that I worked with there. Um, good. So we started off with Craig Good, Robbo. John Robertson was good. John McGlynn interim, very good. Stevie Frail was in there. Burley was amazing. You said that? Oh, Burley was. Was he? Oh. Mate, they were top of the league member at 12. We, 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 we were, I think we won eight in, eight in a row. And, and then we draw two. As well. We were on the big bonus scheme. And then we go to Parkhead and it was his last game. We drew one each with Celtic. Celtic with all the top hitters there. And he was sacked the next week or he walked out. George was really good, really good with the players and his training was amazing and um, some really good players we brought in. The unknowns, eh? Scatcho and mm-hmm. Pospisil and Bedna, Brelli was a really good player, Thesis, European uh, Championship Wait, winner. Uh, Bedna was a striker, was that? Uh, he went to West Brom, right. Jankowskis was Jankowskis a winner at Porto. Player. And then with the Spiny, Craig, Elvis, Webby, Robbie, uh, myself. Um, so they were, they were good managers. Valdis, I liked him. Malafif, no, because I just didn't play. It just, it was just different. So, listen, it was a bit mixed. Rixie was good. I liked Rixie. Cavi- Maybe you caviar. Told caviar, son. That was just caviar. Comes to to him. Caviar. So he used to Rixie used to. So he would take the cross and finishing, and he'd a, he'd a one day left foot. So you know, the ball went out wide, and he would just put a ball in, like just whip a right ball in, and somebody would go and score, and he would just say. Oh, caviar, mate. Caviar. <laughs> so, I love when managers talk about how good that man. <laughs> no, he did, but Rixie was a brilliant coach. Oh, I, I, I thought he was great. I thought uh-huh. he was a really good coach. Other ones here. Then the, obviously, I left when. Who was uh, the last one? When you left, Hans? I remember. I wasn't even Val. Were you there when Val Roman off with joining? Take penalties? No, I was away. Jim Jeffries. Because he was boxing, mate. Box. Uh, uh, bed and I don't know. Get the was boxing, he? I get the boxing gloves on. I was in the kid on. So he'd get the boxing gloves on and go box with him. But see, Romanoff with, with me, he was, he, was, he was actually good with me. Was he? Aye. Would he ask your opinion on things? Oh, aye. Uh-huh. What, who the well, manager when, should be in there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when, 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 George, get, uh, when George gets sacked uh, at Hearts, um, invited me through to Edinburgh at the hotel and for a meal and who do you think the next manager of Hearts should be? And I'm like, oh, that's your choice. That's you're the, the manager. Uh, the, uh, you're, the, you're the owner of the football club. Yeah. Who, do, who do you want it to be? And the names were flying about at the time. It was like, who was the names that were flying about? It was like Kevin Keegan, um, Scala was at the time, it was at uh, Parma. It was all these names. Wow. I think um, Viali. Viali. Viali was yeah. meant to be coming, actually. Was he, huh? Aye. And then, and obviously, then Graham came because he worked with uh, Viali. Right. So it was interesting at Hearts. It was an interesting period, but a club that's a brilliant. Oh, club. they love you, mate. Didn't the fans love you there? Uh-huh. I loved it there. Honestly, I can honestly say I loved it at Hearts. A, a brilliant club. Fan base were amazing. Um, still go back and enjoy my time getting back there. But I would. It was interesting. It was we were at Tynecastle last week. Got a great reception. I thought. I thought yeah, we really got slaughtered. Got got fans slaughtered. went for. We went to watch the Dundee before we played Dundee, went and watched them. Were they alright? Uh, they're they're good. Hearts uh-huh. fans are brilliant. Listen, but it's hard to pull. Uh, I no, when you're playing with Celtic, it's the no, no brand. No, but, no, but see, if you're, see if you're a home player there and it's, and it's a full house against the Old Firm or, or, or Hibs or Big Game, then it's the best place to play your football. Mm. But yeah, I've heard that there's been other days when one of the players passed it back and all the fans were all Oh, listen, right. Oh, you can't even pass it back there. Not for me, but you got to pass it there. Mm. Aye, you've got to be forward. Do you know what I think? See that, that your Hearts team, though? He's were such a good team, but I'm surprised at that with the amount of changes and sort of players all coming yeah. in. How important is it though to have like, you, like guys like you, Presley, to keep that you team? You had to keep them. They were, the, they were the spine. 
uh, Elvis. Uh, the daddy. Uh, the, the, the big, big Elf. Um, uh, Craig, Craig Gordon was a young keeper coming through at the time. Uh, Webby and obviously uh, Robbie. Andy Webster uh, uh, was there. So we had some good players. But see, see the guys that came in, like uh, uh, Scatchwell actually spoke to him on Sunday. Did you? Aye, because he, he was through at Tynecastle, the fans love him there. Um, they were all good lads. So the spirit was, was, was there, and see when George was there, he loved the spirit. Mm. He loved the spirit of the group. Um, so it was some good players. The schedule brilliant. Yeah, very good. But a, finish, a finisher? finisher. Mm-hmm. Aye. Could he have played probably like Arnold for him? I think he could have. Um, he didn't like tracking back, so mm-hmm. that would have been very difficult if he played in Gordon's team. <laughs> um, but in terms of scoring goals for the middle of the pitch, no problem whatsoever. See, the Hearts was there times where there was all, uh, enough to make two squads? Oh, three squads. And so how would that work in training? Oh, I don't know, it seemed, it seemed to work. We'd, it was after Burley, we'd, we'd, we'd about, if you're including young players, there were 76 players. So What, 76? Is it not just a, wee, a guy going about offering guy three year deals or not? Aye, I think they were getting, you've got a five year to a young player, you've got a five, you've got a three. Um, but I think we had something like 76 players on So where would you train? Like, was three different Aye, it was just different people, just different, <laughs> like the, mainly the first team squad, but it was a big numbers mm-hmm. at, at training at the time. So I think when the kit man, I'm sure he said he had something like 76 players. Would like, you were like, oh, Presley ever says, like, yeah, we, we, we right. ah, well, they, they went against it, didn't we, they? We, 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 made, we made a statement back in, it's well documented, we were the Rickert and Three. So, ah, that was it, the Rickert you know, and Three, right? The Rickert Three. Uh, yeah. Did he get in touch with you after that? Who? Romanov. I think, I think he was in the country. Was he? But he was coming in to do a, I think he was going to do a press conference that day, but, and then he, he pulled us other, the next day, pulled myself and said, why did you do that? I just felt, well, things weren't going well, we've got a good group here. We think there's too many changes. Um, we've got a real chance of doing something this year, and which we did have. Um, we think we, we've got to just, we've got to try and get this right. Um, but he wasn't happy, but he, he was always all right. And then, the and, then, and then six months later, we're, we've all left. left so, uh, so that tells you. you that tells that, I know it's ifs and buts, but if Burley the stayed, could that a team win a league? I think we would have been closer to Celtic that year. Mm. Um, we were close right up until the January game, and then they sort of tailed off, but. George used to bring some players in, honestly. They, mm. were, they were really good players. Yeah, but good a, fit, were. Good no, you were really good, I yeah. can remember. I, that was, that's what I'm saying. We just used to, the first 25 minutes at Tyne Castle was like, bang, 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 bang. We were just, the way, that we, the way that we played, the way, he loved his fit, we played, uh, well, he was always playing forward and good fit, good attacking fit, which we all want to see. Did he just disappear after Hearts, George Burnley? No, he was at Southampton. Southampton, that's right. He done Scotland. it, didn't he? Scotland, Scotland yeah. Southampton. He was good at Hearts, honestly. He was really good. He done great hips, which yeah, four years, well. didn't he? He was, manager, he was he manager of the year. In England? He got them to fifth in the... Well, Stuart and Scowcroft off front, aye, you got to remember. There you go, aye. Marcus, Marcus Stewart, Stewart, what a player. What a player, he ran the earring in. Aye. That's right. Left, we lefty. Scores a good goal. George had his nipple pierced, didn't he? To match Marcus Stewart. You asked me to date him. Right, last week, but... He's been sensational again. Any other managers that are watching this, this is the standard that, uh, that requires. You see why they're doing well, that's, there you go. You can see why personality, like, oh, mate, that's exactly. Really it's because we love it. Uh-huh. We love the game, don't we? We love just, talking about we it. We love talking about it. It's, it's all we know, isn't it? Yeah. So, last, uh, next goals, what would it be? Cove in the Championship? Yeah. Immediate some, ones. At, at some stage, it, for the chairman, uh, the amount of hard work they've put in here, and they're, they're going to invest a lot more in terms of the, 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 the stadium. Um, that's the goal for us, is to get. If it's this year, great. If it's next year, great. Following you, but at some stage, it's the goal of this club is to, because there's so many good people at it, and it's, it's, they're so welcoming and they want to help you. And I think that's missing for the game now that mm. there's no enough of that. So that's the next goal, so we can get promoted at some stage. Paul, you got your team into team save up on a full free three day. They were going to play it for the back. One of the players go disagree with it. What do you say to them? They don't want to play it for the back. Well, they'll not be playing. Yes, love it. Superb. Paul Hartley, thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thank you. Very much.